Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, gentlemen. Excuse me. To another episode of the Nerd Chronicles, and I'm basically saying, gentlemen, exclusively um, for this reason that we are going to go with later on in this video. This is your host, the socially awkward nerd, Christian Paul, speaking. And gentlemen, I would like to discuss with you more about the crazy, dreaded friend zone. All right, follow me here. A woman makes a TikTok asking where you can find good men. Man responds to TikTok by saying, you friend zone them. You need to stop being such a bee and give the good guys a chance. This is a very common thing to see on these here internets. Putting aside the constant narrative that men push that women's standards are too high and that's why all of these men can't find women, <laughs> putting that aside. The other thing I hear from men so frequently is they do not want their girlfriend to change them. Like they, they want freedom and they don't want a nagging girlfriend. They don't want a girlfriend telling them to do this or do that. That woman settles for the guy that she, that likes her and she didn't like back. That's what would happen. She would be trying to change him to make him someone she likes better. And she knows better. She does not want to date him because she doesn't like him that way. One thing I will say is maybe she should have said, instead of where are all the good men, where are the men who I'm compatible with? How do I find a person that suits me? Because I think there are plenty of good men and good women out there who are not going to work with other good men and women. It's just about, about compatibility. Being friends with someone is very different than being in a relationship with them. There's a different time commitment. There's different expectations. There are different needs that are being met by each person. So I don't think anyone should settle when their gut is telling them that this is not the right person for them. I don't care what gender you are. Because you cannot change a person. You can't, you cannot get into a relationship with someone someone with the expectation that they will change for you, it never works. Some people on this app do not want you to be happy. They are just angry and then Now, gentlemen, I know the feeling of, you know, feeling dejected with like a woman that you're actually deeply interested in. You know, you're thinking if you just start off as friends and actually slow build and actually trying to do the slow build, you'd be able to actually swoop in with just like one swoop while, you know, the woman's actually doing her thing and God knows you're seeing any other partner or somebody else and all the other stuff that come about thinking that just one shot, maybe lay down the line, you'd be able to hit it. Only to further realize that um, when it comes to the whole dreaded friend zone, getting out of it is actually extremely slim to none very slim to none and the only way i would say slim is if like the woman has been interested in you from the very beginning and i she's been giving you a chance that you literally come at her or she hasn't really or 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 maybe had just has been basically built over time and she basically has matured to the point where they may she may have actually want to give you a shot in dating those would be the two slim chance when it comes with getting yourself out of that friend zone with that particular woman but the friend zone mainly stems from you not being truly honest with what you want when it comes to a particular mate. You are not being truly honest with like not going for what you want, not actually being civil towards you. You're not being specific, specifying your intent of interest in her from the very beginning. And which is unfortunate, which is why a lot of women, mainly friend zone men that actually are hesitant and actually going for what they want is because of those things. You're going to dramatically transform. You're going to get in the gym. You're going to become more aesthetic. You're going to improve your fashion. You're going to improve your teeth. You're going to get your teeth straightened, which I have videos on all this stuff, how to improve your teeth. I have a whole fitness playlist on how to get in shape. Watch my YouTube pretty much, and you will get the girl back. Okay, it's because she found some other guy that's more interesting to her, and she doesn't want to be slut shamed or be called a W H O R E or 304 as we like to say. She doesn't want any of those things. So she's trying to keep him around. She's trying to let him down easy and let him think that uh, maybe at some point, because he obviously has it in his head, maybe at some point in the future, they'll be able to pick up this relationship where they left off and everything will be just fine. He doesn't even have a single clue or any idea whatsoever that she's been running around on him. In fact, she was probably running around on him before she even announced that she just wanted to be friends. It's just, there's a level of guilt that comes into play there and it's like, well, if I've already gotten with Chad or whoever it is that she's been running around with, 
could be Kevin from sales or Steve from the accounting department. You never know. Uh, you have to, you know, cut ties so there's no embarrassment. There's no and yes, you know, realistically speaking, no man, whether he poor, he rich, he short, he tall, he fat, he skinny, or even in the top one in five percent, or even the bottom twenty-eight percent, no man of any caliber is immune to the friend zone category, depending on the mindset of that particular woman. As there is unfortunately no one size fits all when it comes to these types of ordeals, and unfortunately that's a whole reality to it. You know what I mean? You used to be making very steady improvements to literally do the best that you can. But it all comes down to, at the end of the day, it comes down to communication and actually specifying your intent on what you really want and how big the answers that you may be. And you want to try to actually exude confidence from the very beginning on actually just going straight to the point with what you want, going straight to the point on dates, you know, asking around like at that particular time, being very direct and being detailed straight to the point on what, what you really want to do. And if the answer is there, go for it. You know, if the interest is not there, let it be. The worst thing you're going to really expect when it comes to these things is her actually saying no to you. And if she does say no to you on these things, that's her loss. But also know when it comes to dealing with a friend, so you have to actually practice subtle signs of interest as well, because a lot of these women aren't going to really come out right to you, not right in front of your face when it comes to dealing with these types of ordeals. Some of, them, a lot of, some of them will like childish towards you to try to smear away from you and actually be extremely frantic to stay away from you. And if that's the case, this comes to show that they're not really two friends of yours to really begin with. In fact, a lot of women actually friend zone you, mainly friend zone you by technicality, not because they want to friend you as a best friend, because if they're truly best friends, they would actually cooperate with basically what you expect them to be. You know what I mean? Friend zone mainly is friend by technicality to mainly keep you for validation. When a lot of cases, when a men mainly friend zones a woman, you know, basically actually just have like enjoy the company as well as having some good scrambled eggs. That's what it will mainly be about. But when it comes to a woman's case, you know, some women may just like friend zone you naturally if she doesn't even feel that interested in you for whatever reason that may be. We don't know, and it could be like a lot of various reasons. And even if you do try to improve to the best way you can and actually improve on all, every single angles of the book, you know what I'm saying? That particular woman may, may still friend zone you or not be fully in at all due to the fact that it's stuff that's not out of control or due to the fact that they may have a closest friend of your relative that they fear that if they actually do commit to you, they didn't want to actually deal with the trials and turmoils and the conflict that may break them apart. If South Bay something happens between the two of you when you break apart, they fear that the friends are between her and that specific other and her close friends will break apart as well. That's why they unfortunately don't take that risk. And unfortunately, that's basically like a her problem at that point. That has nothing to do with you. That's her loss at the end of the day. And if a woman basically says no and actually turns down your invitation based on the answers on a romantic date, that's her loss as well. Still practice actually find more fits in the sea. Cause what one woman won't do, another woman definitely will. And another woman will definitely treat you better, definitely down the line, as long as you thoroughly treat them with respect. Not saying you have to pedestalize them, but treat them fairly, treat them respectfully. Don't really be kissing ass to nobody. But definitely be fair, definitely be discreet, definitely be civil. You know, and the ones that actually give you, give you and the ones that actually turned you down, the ones that said no to you and saying, ah, I don't like you like that. Oh, I just want to just be friends. I want to be platonic friends. You know, let them go. Screw them. More fits in the sea. You know, handle your business. Um, get your stuff done. Get your stuff right. You know what I mean? There's one, there'll be that one woman that definitely treats you way better than the other woman will. And by the time that woman soon comes to her senses, Lily starts maturing. See, oh, crud, what the heck am I doing wrong? And has a little iffy, like, well, the good man gone. In which he hasn't really fully worked on herself. In which he hasn't really, has been going through like some very deep trauma that she needs to see a psychologist for. Has some naivety and naivety immaturity up on her belt. You know, in which she would definitely say that. Once he moves on from that phase and he starts to mature, and now she wants to try and get you back in your life. You know, it's definitely on you at that point where you want to move forward. Or if you're already taking it, you already got a good team coming, it's just best to actually leave that woman alone. Because again, she had a chance for you early on and then she blew it, right? 
So that's basically what it is, you know. You have to state your intent on what you want from the very beginning and not shy away from what you want. And if that, 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 that woman does not align with it and that not that the one does not doesn't want to cooperate, actually want to be a part of that program, or does not want to be a part of your vision, then you have to let them go. You have to let them be civilly and move on to the next one. Because at the end of the day, she's really showing her true colors. She's just not really a good true friend of yours up in the first place at the end of the day. And then you got the other argument, you know, basically saying, okay, all right, Christian, you know, I don't want to lose the friends of either that you're trying to go in advance. But it basically means you're not thoroughly tuning out to what you're going to want, or you're not actually thoroughly really valuing how you, how you see her and how, how, you, how that makes you feel when it comes to that. Do you really see her as like a potential romantic partner? And you have to really, really be thoroughly honest about that. Romantic or sexual, right? And if you do, you know, go for it. You know, that should be smooth, that should be total, you know, ask her on a day and be third, be blunt and be direct. If not, then, you know, just still let it be, you know, handle your business, you know, you don't have to really hang out with as much that often, you know, at the end of the day, if they actually want to try and use your validation and everything else, just let it go and let it be. You know, that's not really a true friend to begin with, because what that's going to happen, if you try to play the so-called friend zone, long, 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 long term game, we actually try and whoever women actually cut her whenever things go bad with all the exes and all the other men that they're dating and actually trying to console her and chase her around every single bit you know she's going to definitely look at you as platonic that's how she's going to interpret it and when you actually try to come by and actually make your move then and further on down the line in the future in her mind she's going to think that you're going to be very deceptive and that's when chaos will literally run about so remember that you know if that's the case when you got all these things button heads, you know, you guys aren't really compatible from the very beginning. You guys aren't true friends with one another from the very, very beginning. And trust me on this, because I'm speaking on this from personal experience. I've been in your shoes. I've been in my trains experiencing this type of heartbreak before. I've seen it happen many different times. And I've also friends on some women as well, many different times when it comes to that aspect as well. So I do have some knots and I do definitely do can relate to the people that are actually going through this type of suffering as we speak right now. And I'm gonna leave it at that, ladies and gentlemen, you know, be realistic, you know, be thorough, you know, be direct, and yes, still improve the best way you can in all angles as well, but also understand there's also gonna be some setbacks along the way. The most important thing is to make sure you build a strong foundation of inner self-worth and inner self-confidence and the rest will literally smooth itself out. There will be a woman that will treat you as far as you want to go, that will treat you down to your side levels, literally at the end of the day, if you put your foot forward, if you actually take the leap of faith, if you actually get that self confidence in you and actually make the effort to approach and try and fail. Chris and Paul from the Nerd Chronicles is signed out. Deuces.